line. Yeah. Gotcha. Welcome everyone to the May 17th Building Board of Westfield um, meeting for the town of Barrington. Oh, I'm calling the meeting to order at exactly seven o'clock. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please, beginning with Al Sandra. <laughs> Smako, present. Daryl, present. And part of the president. Thank you all. I'm going to do that. Um, but before we hear the action item tonight, we are missing one of our ZBA members. You have the right to decide whether you would like to present to the four. You would still be required to have three people in agreement with the case in order for it to be um, accepted, approved. Uh, and I suspect it will take a month or two if you would like to reschedule it. It is up to you. Well, go ahead. Okay. Um, and you've signed the form. Barry Engineering has permission to speak on behalf of the subject. Yes. Okay. Please present. Oh, before you begin, um, Vanessa was going to explain that what you're hearing today for a case. Yes. Under break. No, I think this is an important um, to draft the board and um, for public record, um, this not this application, but on this property, a similar variance was granted on December 28, 2015, um, by a prior owner. For about the same situation. About the same situation. Garage, I believe, it's the same. Correct. Right. Almost exact. Yeah. Okay. Similar Very good. Thank you. Proceed. Thanks. Well, my name is Daniel Alone from Barry Survey, uh, representing Derek and Melissa Sapatelli. <clears throat> uh, they own this lot on 100 Small Road, which is Map 106, Lot 4. Um, parcel is located in the general residential zone with a shoreland protection overlay. You know, because of the frontage on Ayers Lake. Is this there's an existing house and a shed on the property. You can see the existing conditions on page one. Our plan set a modest size house, uh, two bedroom, single family dwelling. Uh, on site, um, septic and well. Uh, the existing site is kind of your typical lake lot, has a mixture of walkways, driveway, Can yard. You point on the directions yep. where, the, where the septic and the well are. Located? Yep. The septic is right here where this mound mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And the well is right there. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, in 2015, as you mentioned, uh, the ZBA approved a variance or several variances for the construction of a 20 by 24 foot garage um, and also conversion of the cottage that was here, which was the exact same footprint, but in much less repair. Um, as part of that proposal, um, they did do the house part of it. They removed the cottage and put the house back in the exact same place, uh, but they did not uh, build the garage uh, at the time. Um, at the time of, or in 2015, at the time of that approval, you can see kind of in faded back here um, color, there was two um, smaller single car garages on the site that were in extreme disrepair. Those were removed as a part of the whole construction um, project in 2015 or probably 2016 when it was done, um, but they were not replaced. Um, obviously, the approval has lapsed. Uh, the Sabatellis want to construct a 22 by 22 uh, garage in the same general location. I, I was thinking about putting the uh, like overlaying the, the 2015 garage on this plan, but I didn't want it to be so many lines on there that were confusing, but it's almost exactly in the same place. Obviously, it's a little bit different shape. It's within a foot or so of the same location. Um, we are required to get a DES shoreland permit. We haven't filed for that yet because we wanted to see what the results of this meeting uh, was before we do that. <clears throat> um, at this point, if you want to, if you have any questions more, I can answer, or I can move into the 
by criteria if you'd like. Yeah. I have a question about the plan if you don't mind. Okay. Do you know what the right away with the small road is? It varies. It's, it's not, not, not it's not parallel. It, there's an old plan that created a small road and from what I remember, it was in the 1920s ish that was created and the sidelines of small road go like this all up and down that road and it is not fun to serve it is a dead end yep thank you um so our requests are to construct this garage in the front and side setback um as a part of this project a large section of the existing gravel driveway which um i can put back on this is all of this area here will be removed because the garage is going to be placed almost entirely on top of that gravel driveway. There's a very small section of the, the garage that overhangs a grassed area right now, but most of it is on gravel. Uh, these improvements will uh, reduce the amount of impervious surface on the parcel from 23.66% to 21.38%, uh, which will be a benefit to Ayers Lake um, with those improvements, both in the removal of the gravel surface, which uh, has a tendency to erode and possibly pollute the lake, as well as overall reduction in impervious surface, which is going to lessen the runoff from the lot. So those are things that DES will look at specifically, but I thought I would mention it because it is a benefit to the lot in general. Uh, so we have two, like I said, two variances front and side. I can, we have basically the same arguments for them. I can do them both at the same time, or I can do them separately if you like. How would the board like to hear them? The same arguments. Yeah. Basically, yeah. the yeah. same arguments. Okay. Um, so the request for the the front um, setback, obviously, it's a 40 foot front setback. Um, we're proposing the garage. Uh, these all these measurements are measured from the overhang. So we're there's be a one foot overhang on the building. So the, when I say a measurement, it'll be from the overhang, not the foundation. Um, we're proposing the garage to be three feet from the front uh, boundary line, where 40 feet is required, um, and the side. Um, 30 feet is required, and we're proposing it to be 23.6 feet from the side property line. <clears throat> um, so, number one, special conditions exist that such that little literal enforcement of the ordinance will result in unnecessary hardship to the applicant as defined under uh, applicable law. Um, so, there's a few special conditions um, with this parcel of land. It is an existing lot of record, like I mentioned from the 1920s or so. Um, definitely in the uh, general residential zone, and it only contains 0 0.31 acres of land, so it doesn't conform to any of the current zoning uh, regulations. Uh, the property contains two garage style buildings as of 2015, removed probably in 2016, <clears throat> uh, but neither were an adequate repair to safely house a vehicle. Uh, those garage units did not meet the front um, or side setback lines, and in fact, even a portion of that, because of the sidelines of small road, a portion of that garage was in the right of way for small road. It wasn't even located on the lot. Um, determining a position or location for the proposed garage that would meet the current zoning um, setbacks listed in the uh, zoning ordinance would be impossible. All the setbacks overlap, um, so there is no buildable legal buildable area on this lot without a variance being granted. Um, so we've placed the garage in a manner that is more nearly conforming when compared to the former existing garage units. Um, and we feel literal enforcement of this of the ordinance would result in an unnecessary hardship uh, because there's no place, no location to place a garage on the parcel that would not require relief. Uh, number two, granting the variance would be consistent with the spirit of the ordinance. Um, the intent of the ordinance is to protect abutting landowners and the users of roadways from undue crowding of lots. Uh, we're proposing a garage which more nearly conforms to the ordinance as well as keeps the garage as far from the lake as possible. We do meet a uh, 75 foot setback from the lake. <clears throat> uh, number three, granting the variance would not result in diminution of surrounding property values. Uh, the removal of the garages, which were in poor repair and the construction of a new modern garage, uh, which meets the current building codes, will not have a negative effect on surrounding property values. It's in the best interest of the owners of land 
uh, located on small road for old buildings such as these or such as the ones that were there to be removed and replaced responsibly. <clears throat> uh, number four, granting the variances would do substantial justice. Uh, the, the substantial justice would be to allow the landowner to enjoy the two car garage capacity that the lot previously had um, only in a safer and usable manner and the gain to the applicant really outweighs any detriment to others given uh, the existing building locations and parking that takes place on the site in that exact location in the you know right today those cars parked right there uh, and number five granting the variances would not be contrary to public interest uh, the public interest is to see buildings in poor repair removed and replaced responsibly uh, the previous removal of the garages from the small road right away also protects the rights of the parties with interest in small road which is probably a few dozen owners um, down that road <clears throat> um, additionally given the fact that the traveled way is not centered within small road as you normally see parallel roads nowadays be built the the actual traveled surface is not centered in that right away uh, the garage will be located 25.9 feet um, from the gravel road surface. So it's actually pretty far from where people are driving um, and it would not provide any negative issues for passing motorists or pedestrian traffic. That's the five criteria. Thank you. Um, I'm going to open public comment. Yeah, I would just ask um, just for the record, if you could just say what you're doing for the second variance. I thought I just heard just say the first one. No, he indicated the when they were just the side set back yeah. and the front set back out okay. for the two yeah. variants. So this one would be the end discussion. I can do it again if you'd like. No, 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 no. Like when you were reading it, I'll you know, talk about the front. Yeah. Actually, okay. why don't I take yeah. on one second, please? Okay. Case number 106 4 GR backslash SPO 23 BAR owners, um, Derek and Melissa Sapatelli. Request by this applicant for a variance from Article 4, Section 4.1.1, Minimum Standards, Table 2, to allow front setbacks of 3 feet and 16.5, where 40 is required, and side setback of 23.6, where 30 was required on a 0.30 acre lot, Map 106, Lot 4 at 100 Small Road in the General Residential and Shoreline Protection Overlay Zoning District. And presentation is by Barry Engineering and Sur Surveying and Engineering. My, my uh, apologies. 335, Second Ground Point Road, Barrington, New Hampshire. Um, is there anyone online for public comment? There's no one in the audience for public comment, so I will be closing public comment at this time and allow board members to ask varying questions as they gather information about the case. Anyone? I have a question. Okay. Yes. The proposed use for a public garage. Yeah, the uh, proposed use is a storage room. Um, like I mentioned, the house is very modest size um, and they need some more room to store some things. So but it's if, not going to be finished. It depends on what you mean by finished. I think their intention is to get you. No. Okay. There's there's no intention at the, to have any plumbing or anything like that. It's going to be sheetrocked, so it's to be clean storage, but their intention is to not okay. use it for living space. Second question I have is for the plan or zone enforcement. Where does garage situated the garage doors face the road? It's a three foot setback, but it's 25 feet to the pavement, the gravel drive. But cars, are, these cars are going to be parked in the right way. So, is there, and it's a private road, I understand. Is that something that we should be concerned about? I think that parking that cars in the garage because that was their existing space that they've been parking. This way, no one I took at the presentation, but. Um, well, it's but that's not all yes, okay. um, the neighbors come to park on the side of the road. Um, well, it, it, all right, so I can I see that as being reasonable. That you know, I guess park on the side of the road, sure. You can park beside the garage. I mean, the, well, I guess the point I was going to make was um, you go down small road during the summer, there's always someone parking on the side of the road because of what it is. Um, and as again, um, pointed out there's a lot of places in the right of way that it doesn't affect the travel way because the travel way is 
not dead center in the road. So even though technically we're packing in the right away, they might affect the traffic. Okay, so that's not like the board by granting this we're not on the book. You're not oh, you're not granting you know. permission to pack in the right away. Okay. You're granting permission for the garage to be on their property so they can park their cars inside. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? I, I have a couple of questions. Um is it a class five or a class six, sorry? Private. Yep, private. Okay. They're going to their private road. And they would not need to pay the 10%. And, okay. It's considered a category two, two right? Jason, there's no volume here? No. There's no volume, but that's not right. No, they're, they're saving you, John. No, the change, the category two, he says, the Actually, I'm going to go down. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know where I'm headed with that. The point one that zero acre lot across the street. Yep. It's my understanding that this garage will block water view to that 0 0.10 acre lot. It might. Is there any building on Do we know? There's no building on it. There's no building on it. No. Um, and actually, there's a turnaround. Oh, there be. <laughs> there's a turnaround, actually, that they have cut into that 0 0.10 acre lot. Do we right. just pull <laughs> it? Right. We do. I just I don't have it on the plan. Okay. Um, it's It is a... It's beyond a postage stamp of it. It's very small and cut into that is there's actually uh, I don't know whose trailer is parked there on the side of the road, but there's like a small construction trailer and they have carved out a turnaround on that side of it. So okay. Which encompasses almost all of those sides. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I mean I don't know. Maybe it's even times in some day. I don't know what's going on there, but any other questions, comments, or concerns in reference to this? Okay. Would anyone like to um, make a motion in reference to case number 106-4-GR backslash SBO 23-BAO? I make a motion that we grant the variance. I second. It's reasonable. Okay. I have a first and I have a second. Let's just put both variances, I see. Yeah. But the front and side setbacks variances. Um, and the reason for that would be that it would be within the spirit of the ordinance, we would not decrease values in the surrounding areas, we do substantial justice for the homeowners, um, that it would not be contrary to public interest, and that literal enforcement would be a hardship for the owners of this property. Absolutely. Can I have a um, vote, please, beginning with Alexandra? Alexandra, yay. 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 Thank you. We appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, I was just right. I just wanted to mention that. I mean, I got this packet and it was like, now I understand what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So thank I mean, you. Whenever we get anything from your office, it comes in complete. Well, we understand, understand it without all the Yeah. yeah. They drive out there, but not the point. Right. We get some applications and maybe we can yeah. beat some people up about that. It'll be a mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you. Some people are actually yeah. wanting to yeah. So uh, next up is approval of meeting minutes. I did read through them. I had one change. I think there were three extra words. That's fine. That's my apologies. Hang on. I have a couple too. Yeah. So it was just a repeat of three words that was like, we'll have, we'll have. We'll have. And so, you know, understand that he's just finding me this catch. All not happy. Here it is. On uh, line one, eight, five, there is a typo. And it unfortunately causes the statement to seem it says T Hardicop addressed Mr. Vogel what a statement that is understand that he is testifying that the, the neighbors have all not have objection to this. I think what the line should read is that <laughs> I understand that Mr. Vogel is yeah. making the statement or testifying <laughs> that the neighbors have not had objection to this. So I think that needs to be corrected. Okay. Other than that, I did not find any material. <laughs> I have, I have yeah. a couple. Yeah. Um, page seven, line 101, 
yeah. a third of your efficiency. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Page seven. Um, it's, it's yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. And then on page nine at the bottom line 206, I did not make the motion. I think it was Andre. Um, I haven't had the uh, gumption to make any motions okay. like that on my own yet. And then for some reason, and maybe this is just stylistic, but on all the roll call votes, I voted twice. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, I, think so. I didn't think so. Thank you. But. Based on the following corrections that have been identified, would there be a motion to accept with corrections the zoning board meeting minutes from April 19th? I make a motion to accept with And I, I would make a second with corrections. Yeah. And roll call, please, begin with Alexandra. Alexandra Yeh. Cheryl Yeh. Cheryl Yeh. Okay, staff updates by the town planner. Um, just um, training opportunities to know. Um, the Office of Planning and Development always has opportunities to learn a lot of things. Um, so tomorrow there's one at noon. You can always look back if you don't want to look at it live, but it's making zoning or for housing in your community. Um, June 1st is a local officials workshop every year. NHMA hosts um, workshop. Additional, as everybody knows, there's additional land use board members where you're looking for. Um, as you know, I did receive from Andre today. As you notice, know, his absence this evening, he could not make it. He was not feeling well, but he will no longer be attending tonight. Would have been his last meeting. Um, he is moving to North Carolina, and we thank him for his year-long yeah. efforts. So, um, as you know, we're still looking for CPA members um, and alternates. Planning board is looking for alternate positions. Um, it's a master plan updates. Um, those of you that are following it, we're doing our land use and transportation chapters. It's going to public comment on June 6th at the planning board meeting and anticipated to be adopted June 20th. Um, and then we roll right into um, we're doing a master plan committee update for housing. Thank you, Tracy, for volunteering. We currently have three members, one member, or potentially one member from the community. So if you know yourself or anybody else that would like to volunteer um, to be part of this, um, we typically meet Monday afternoons during working hours, um, like two to five. Um, I did add a lot of detail in here because I'm hoping that people in the community, when they see our agendas, might gather information from there and show some interest. Um, it's also on our website as well. Um, and that's all I have to know unless there's any other questions. I've been gathering lots of housing information from various sources around the social show that you answer. Yeah, and um, also posting up to community members so they look at stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Shots that we are all seeing as well. So any other business that should come before the board? Okay. I would accept a motion to adjourn at 724. Someone would like to make that yeah. first motion. Oh, I move we adjourn. I will second that. Please. <laughs> Alexandra Yang. Cheryl Yang. Thank you all very much. Okay, now you broke the ice. <laughs> no, I just have.